Imagine living your life just as Anne Frank did in 1942. Sat at her desk whilst in hiding, she recorded some of her most intimate thoughts and emotions. The new Anne Frank iPad app enables readers to do just that, featuring a wealth of unpublished material. The world-famous diary tells the story of a Jewish teenager and her experience living in hiding from the Nazis. Following the 65th anniversary of the publication, a new app was created by Viking, Penguin, digital producers Beyond the Story and the Anne Frank Fonds Basel. Venetia Butterfield explains more. We wanted to produce an app because uh, we currently publish the diary in many book forms and it's very important for us that the diary reaches a new audience and so we wanted to produce an app to get to reach a new generation of readers. The USP of the app is the tremendous interactivity it gives the user. It really enables someone to engage with Anne's Frank at the time she was living. You can watch a video clip from someone that she knew at the time. You can see a location map which shows you exactly where the shop that she might have been talking about was. You can get further information on a word that may be a slightly bit complicated for someone now to understand. Or you can actually hear a radio recording from the actual radio recording that she was writing about at the time when she wrote her diary. The new app also includes a timeline to help readers understand Anne's eventful life in greater detail. As we get further and further away from the events of World War II, we find that it's more it's difficult for younger readers to really understand the context that something like Anne's diary would have been written in. And so the timeline is really important for the application. And what we have is two layers to the timeline. So we have the events of Anne's life, and then underneath that we have the wider context of World War II, so the reader is able to, using pinching gestures, to zoom in between the two different diary uh, timelines to, to really get an understanding of where Anne sat within the whole World War II context. There are plans to roll out the application in schools. Indeed, there have already been rave reviews from a group of children who piloted the app. They really enjoyed it, and what was really interesting is that it, it brought it home to them very vividly. Uh, so they loved the videos, they loved the, the graphics that showed the kind of the pop-up house, things that really uh, draw for them a picture of just what it was like to be in that house. Anne Frank is one of, is the second um, most read book in the world, so she draws an incredible audience of readers from a variety of backgrounds, ages and geographies. So there is really no limit to the number of people that might want to engage in the app, provided they have a tablet and are, are relatively familiar with working in the digital world. We've had very, very positive feedback from the market, both from professionals and also individual reviewers, and we've had some great reviews on the App Store. Um, and everyone we've spoken to or demoed the app to has absolutely loved it, particularly people involved in education um, for whom Anne Frank is obviously a seminal work on both the history and English texts. And the app also has personal significance for many of those working on the project. Producing the digital edition of Anne's diary is incredibly important to all of us. I think speaking for myself and most of my colleagues, most of us are old enough to have had fathers or grandfathers who, who fought in World War II. Uh, and so we feel we have a connection with, um, with the war and the events and the history of the time. The Anne Frank app is now available for iPads via the Apple App Store. Android users can download the app via the Nook Store. As the book continues to celebrate her life, so too will the new digital app, enabling readers to remember Anne's life, as well as the survivors and victims of the Holocaust. This is Celestina Ololode for JN1 in London.